Hello everyone and this is a very simple lesson on how to use uh, light filters in Karma XPU or in Karma in general. So we're going to use like a, we're going to apply like a texture to the light and hopefully by the end we'll create something like this. All right, to get started, I have a really basic scene. I have like a base okay, and I have the rubber toy and I have a single material that I have assigned. I just have like a basic standard shader and I have a dome light with uh, no HDR or anything. So if I just do a render of this, this is what I will get. Okay. So that's pretty much it. Okay. Now to get started, uh, we will add a light. So I'll just create a light and we will turn this into a rectangle. Okay. So we have this, I can switch on uh, the shaded view. Yeah. Okay. So that's what we have. And if I look at this, so that's, that's it. Okay. Now, now there is a texture option here, but don't take it from there. There is something called as light filters. Okay. So this is new in 19.5. Uh, there are about two or three of them. We are going to take a look at something called Gobo, which is what you use for uh, adding textures to your light. So the way it works is uh, type in light and you'll get something called as light filter library. Okay. And just, you know, add that into your scene. Now, if you jump into this, this is like a custom warp area where you can build uh, material X based uh, light filters. And we can, we're just going to type in, like you have a, a few of these. Okay. So you have like barn door and gel and gobo and projection. Okay. And then you have, you can also add in additional sort of material X nodes. So if you want to project like a, a 2d noise or something, you can also do things like those, but we're not going to get into that. I'll just keep this fairly simple. So we'll just come into light filter and we'll take gobo. Okay. So just take that and, uh, to get started, I'll just take, uh, I have a texture, which is uh, basically just uh, these sort of Chinese characters. Okay. I have no idea what this could just be ABCD for all I know, <laughs> but yeah, so I have this. Okay. So I'm just going to load that up. So I'll just click here and that's what I have. And uh, that's pretty much it. So if I just switch over to karma and we will see uh, something, but first we have to assign it. So just come into the light and come to light filters and pick go into light filter and karma light filter gobo and do okay and that's pretty much it now what needs to be done is you need to kind of increase the intensity of these things so just sort of like up the exposure and there you go now the reason why this is very soft is because the light is too big okay so for uh, the gobo stuff to work the light needs to be pretty small okay so i'm going to just take this the width and height and make it like 0 0.1 by 0 0.1 and you'll see it, you know, get a little sharper, go down to 0 0.02 and that will be better. And then just bump up the intensity on everything. So I can just take this exposure and, you know, just jump it up and there you go. Okay. And then I'll just add some color temperature to this to make it look a little fancy. Yeah. And now we can take the dome light and make it, you know, lesser. And it's pretty fast to render, like it doesn't take too long. And then I can just sort of move it around. See, you can rotate it. It, it works with like everything, you know, like no problems. Okay. If you want to do something slightly different, like, uh, let's say something like this, which is more like a laser light. So I have a simple texture, which is just a straight line. Okay. So I can just come back into this into my light texture. Uh, let's just duplicate this. Let's just call this as text. Let's call this as laser. Okay. And I just have this thing called, I had this thing called laser. Where is it? Yeah, there. And uh, if I render this, we will get like a straight line. Uh, but sorry, hold on a second. We need to prop, we need to pick it up first. Yeah, we changed the name. So that's why it's suddenly gone. Uh, laser. Yeah, there you go. Now, uh, we can sort of adjust this a bit because we want it a little stretched out. So I can take the height to 0 0.1 and, uh, even in the light filter, we can probably take this and, you know, like 
take the u scale and scale it down take the v scale and stretch it up see there you go so you'll get like you know a little more and we can also bump up the intensity a little bit and if we want let's just do one thing let's uh, get this all the way down to like 500 yeah okay so we can kind of just you know, like we can kind of stretch this out a bit more so you know, if you want to do something like you know light coming out of a doorway or something you can do things like that okay. see like if I just take this and maybe like you know stretch it out a bit see we can do you know something like this and it cleans up pretty fast like it's not it's not slow to render like textured lights will always take longer than just you know something normal but uh, yeah overall it's not too bad so let's make it let's take it back to 0 0.03 and 0 0.1 okay and then just for fun what I'll do is uh, I will add a like let's just bring this back a little yeah and let's add like a fog volume into this so I'm gonna take a, just type in karma and you'll get something called as a karma fog box so we can just take this and I'll add it in here and I'm just going to like you know make it big enough so that it covers the basic scene yeah and we'll do a couple of changes I'm going to get the shadow density down to like 0 0.03 and I'll get the basic density down to 0 0.05 okay and there you go so what we can do now is just for fun like we can like we can try to increase this we can see that but uh, let's just bump up the intensity a lot let's take it up to 10 yeah and let's take this up to 20 there we go okay now we have you know like a proper beam of light we can turn off the color temperature and maybe color it from here actually no i think the exposure value is too high so it's kind of, yeah. Yeah, there you go. No, that's not bad. Uh, let's make it slightly wider. Once you add a volume, the navigation kind of screws up because it's trying to navigate around the volume box. Uh, it won't try, it, it won't allow you to navigate around the toy. Like that becomes an issue. But there you go, you know, like this isn't too complicated. Uh, let's make it 0 0.02. Yeah, it'll take a bit of time. Yeah, uh, we can take the volume samples and up them to six. You know, that might work a little better. And you can also like come into the light filter and try to adjust the intensity there. Like, can take this and make it brighter still. Yeah, there you go. Let's try to make this like really high. Now, 20. And you can also move it from here. Like we can do like a V offset and kind of, you know, rotate it. See, there you go. Like we can kind of move it. Yeah, so you can do some fancy stuff with it. It takes time to render. Like uh, this image, which is like full HD, this took about four minutes to render. And this is denoised. Okay, so it was four minutes plus denoising but anyways that's pretty much it like let, let's just switch it back once to you know the text oh there you go okay that's a lot it's still really bright yeah there you go that looks nice let's try to make it 0 0.02 yeah now we can jump it up Alright, so that's pretty much it. So this is how you can use the Gobo light filter in Karma XPU or in Karma in general.